is an oil shale and it's not obsidian despite the way that it can look when it's broken, kind of shiny. It's also not coal. I know it really does resemble coal, but it's not. This is gilsonite. As you can see, it's a dark black substance. It's actually a solid hydrocarbon. Gilsonite is a rock found in the asphaltite group, which includes hydrocarbon bitumens. It was first discovered by European newcomers in the 1800s in Uinta County, Utah. So it was first called Uintaite. Then there was Sam Gilson, who also found the black stuff and started the Gilsonite Asphalt Company, or the Gilson Asphalt Company. He said he'd pay a silver dollar if they named it after him, and they did. Hence, Gilsonite. It's pretty popularly known in Utah. The Uinta Basin of eastern Utah hosts the world's largest deposits of gilsonite. And it's the only place where gilsonite has been economically produced in large quantities. This is one of Utah's earliest mined industrial minerals. Hey, just a real quick message from me, Heather, the host here at Let's Go Geo. Actually, I am host, videographer, photographer, editor, creator, all that stuff. This channel is run solely by me and I started it because I do love geology and all things related to the topic and I love teaching and I thought it would be a great way to bring to people that in the field experience but digitally so Let's Go Geo was born. The project's going well but I have a lot of great other ideas so if you want to help me out support me and help the project move along you can find me on Patreon and you can become a fan there as well as get access to exclusive content. So head over to Patreon. Otherwise, let's get back to today's topics. Historically, this gilsonite mining occurred at various veins that were found in eastern Utah. The veins range anywhere from less than an inch to up to 22 feet wide. The latest phase has been concentrated on one of the widest known veins, which is located around Bonanza, Utah. These gilsonite veins, which run in these northwest to southeast trending lines, are widespread across the Uinta Basin. It is now hosted in the Duchesne River, Green River, Wasatch, and the Uinta Formation. These formations are primarily tertiary age, ranging from about 57 to 36 million years old. The scent of the world's gilsonite is found in the Uinta Basin in Utah. Still to this day, gilsonite mining is labor intensive because of its unusual mode of occurrence. The mining of ore was and still is done by hand. The extraction of gilsonite led to the only railroad to enter the Uinta Basin. Gilsonite is used for a variety of end product and industrial applications that include paints, varnishes, inks, roofing materials, electrical and insulations, battery boxes, phonograph records, floor coverings, brake linings, caulking material, gilsolate for underground pipe insulation, high test gasoline, and metallurgic coke. The oil and gas industry has found some pretty good uses for gilsonite in well drilling. Turns out the gilsonite was awfully useful in sealing beer barrels. So Anheuser-Busch had a stake in this as well. 